Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas, and I am joined tonight by Christian and Anna. What Good evening, people. So, yeah. So, yeah, Anna, I know you're, you're very excited to do this set tonight, right? I had to kind of, like, uh, force you to here. Well, it's because I really want to do the arc. That's that's why you had to force me. I'm not on excited about this set. I'm just really pumped to talk about the arc. Yeah, I, I apologize. <laughs> we'll uh, hopefully we'll do the arc next week. You're um, just not as thrilled about opening it. I know, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, Even that's a spoiler, an opener spoiler here. We we don't want to like, you know, kind of ha have everyone kind of figure out that I am not excited about it yet. So. Oh, sorry. Uh, you have been so busy opening other toys that you just right. haven't been able to get to it. Right, right. Exactly. All your toy opening responsibilities. You have a full-time job of toy opening. But that's <clears throat> right. So tonight we are doing the Target exclusive uh, Worlds Collide set. And yeah. um, we, we wanted to make sure and wait long enough to where you couldn't find it in the stores. So... Hopefully we've I found another goal. set last week. So it I seems got a like there, of yeah, um, I know like around us, uh, there's been some restocks, but I, I have no idea whether or not it's in stock or out of stock at the moment. So yeah, I obtained one last week for someone else. Oh, okay. I did there too. So. Doesn't at seem your like target, it's... Lucas. At your target. Oh, really? Oh, there you go. At my my target, my personal Someone's target. Taking taking crap out of Lucas's hunting ground. That's so, right. Yeah. But oh, Randall says he got his in KC too. Yeah, ours. Uh, it seemed like that the ones in Kansas City dropped a little bit later than some of the other spots. Like I know Paul was saying that there's plenty in Chicago uh, earlier than they hadn't dropped in Kansas City yet, but. I got mine, like, way before you guys got yours, too. You did. You did. And I drove, like, four hours round trip to do it because I'm a crazy person, but, you know. Yeah. You did. You were very excited. We this was. is an exciting set, though, because it's, it's, just, it's just interesting. Like, all these multi-packs and special, you know, exclusives always end up being repaints of some sort, remolds, redos. You know, they're never, like, new, new characters. But this one is particularly interesting because they did some things we didn't expect with it. You know, we all tried to predict what figures were going to be in the set, and we were all super-duper we wrong. all wrong. Now, some of my predictions did include both Optimuses and both Little Buddies. We do have one Primal and one Bumblebee, so that's kind of close. That's somewhat close. <laughs> so... I think we should start with the the least interesting to work our way to Fangry. Cool. Wait, what? Like, how do we know which one is the least interesting? Though? <clears throat> because Christian and I both have it up, and it's obvious okay. because we we have agreements. But to say it's the least interesting is actually really a, a a compliment to this set because this is still a really cool Bumblebee. Yeah. Yeah, it's a solid Bumblebee. Like as long as you're cool. With him having the ROM alt mode, he is a very solid little figure. You know, we've all always liked the, um, we've all always liked the cliff jumper mold, at least a little bit. We don't really have big cliff jumper haters in this group. And this is just yellow cliff jumper with a bumblebee head. And it is, is this the, the first correct time... yellow. Is this the first time that we've gotten a Bumblebee that's a repaint of Cliff Jumper rather than the other way around? I think so. Yeah, I'm sure someone will correct us if we're wrong, but uh, you um, need I think Peter that, for that was But I believe I'm correct. I bet someone will correct you, even if you're right. No. Okay. So I don't know. I mean, I feel like this. Like, if I. <laughs> was not able to get the other exclusive bumblebees which by the way it's it's weird that we're only getting bumblebees as exclusives um these days but um it, i feel like if i hadn't got the other ones i mean i'd be perfectly happy with this one i mean it's a 
you know, I, I like the head sculpt. Yeah, the head sculpt's really good. The head sculpt is good. He's a little lifeless, but it's a much better head sculpt than the um than the uh what's his face? The Origins. There we go. They're kind of same to me, but I'm, they're different. I can see they're different, but they're kind of the same to me. Really? Yeah. The origins one is like 15 feet wider. No, I just had but it off. I, so. I think the Where's Stewie the Griffin origin? head. It's ridiculous. Uh, okay. What's, what's wrong with that? So wide. Hyper focused on that. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> I, I mean, like, I think that this is a good looking, expressive face on the origins one. So, but it's, really it's, about it's the, a more expressive face. That's for sure. What I, really, what I really like about the Worlds Collide one, just since this is the one we're actually talking about, is that it looks like G1B, and then its alt mode is kind of a combination of G1B and like live action sports car EB. I know it's just a repaint of Cliff Jumper, but the effect when it's Bumblebee is like, oh, it's like an amalgamation of all the Bumblebee types. And that kind of makes okay, sense for me. I'll take that. Yeah, it's it's half G one, half sports car. I, I think it works. It works for me. I don't know. You may not see it that way, and that's okay. Yeah, I know the the Beetle version is worlds better for me. Like it's just I I just enjoy it so much more. Other than the color, I do like my Bumblebee's yellow, I not, not I, orange. I actually prefer um, this one just because it annoys me that there's no sticker or whatever tampo on his chest like <laughs> on this one. I wish there was, um, because it like the chest looks huge, and there's like nothing yeah. breaking it up, and so that's my complaint. Like on this guy, like I mean, I love that it's the you know Volkswagen mold and all that, uh, but uh, you know if it was just a little more yellow and there was a tampo on the chest, like it'd be perfect. I agree, and, and I actually like the head better on this one. Like the eyes are painted a little bit better. On, on this one compared to the Netflix one. Just just slightly. Like they're a little more blue. And so I like that too. Yeah, it's the same head though, right? Exact same head. Same, it's the same head. It's just okay. painted. Like the eyes are more blue. Like there's like more paint. Yeah, it's, you know, like anything we complain about with this figure is nitpicking. You know, the only real problem with this figure has been addressed so many times before, and that's the parts forming to go between alt and robot mode. And, you know, we're over it at this point, I hope. I don't know. The only parts forming that's annoyed me is the fossilizers because it's a lot of parts for Like, I don't care if it's one part that I have to take off and put on or whatever for transformation. Um, that doesn't bother me. It just annoys me when there's a lot of parts. I don't know. So yeah, so I feel like if this is our worst one of the set, like it's still really good. Um, okay, all mode. Sorry, took me a minute. But like this kind of looks like a Camaro-ish bumper, and then it's kind of squat, like a Beetle. I don't know. It, it feels like it pulls it all together as like one new Bumblebee alt mode. I don't know. I I, I like it. I think it works. Also, this gun does not belong to Bumblebee. Because this is Cliff Jumper's bazooka from More Than Meets the Eye Part 1. It's, it's in the right colors now. So you can just use it for that. And yep. If you need your extra your 15 gun. guns, you can do whatever you want with. Oh. And it still breaks apart and makes skis and whatnot. But yeah. Yep. Cool accessory. So, all right. Well, there we go. What's our next one? What's the uh, second least interesting one, Anna? Primal? Primal. Okay. Ook. Oop. He is a new character, though, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, he's Nemesis Primal. Nemesis Primal. Ooh. Never Is seen this, this the first deco. Nemesis Primal we've gotten? No, yeah, we've never seen an evil Primal like this before. We I got would have preferred evil. if they had done the universe colors. I think everyone would have preferred that. But this is still pretty interesting. It's interesting. It's very pretty. 
Yeah, the, the one thing that I will say is, is I kind of wish I would have just waited to get all of, like, these repaints and whatnot of the figures rather than the original ones. Because, like, I like the looks of this a lot more than the original just because it looks... Like, the paint looks really nice on it. Like, I like the, you know, I don't know, whatever, metallic, shiny, teal paint and the purple it's nice. and all that. It's really like, good metallic it's, teal. It's a, it, yeah, it's a really nice looking... Yeah, it's a nice metallic shiny, teal. It's awesome. really good colors. Mm -hmm. Please use this for all Nemesis Primes in the future. This is the correct color. <laughs> it, this is it. I, I really do like our gorilla with red eyes. He's fun. He's very scary. He's very does evil a, looking. Does have a new piece that we haven't seen on this mold before. He's got the faceplate head. That's new. See, I didn't even know that because I don't have primal. Yeah, faceplate head is new. Nice. It's, it's Nemesis Primal. There's not a ton to say. I hope we kind of see this guy in some fiction. That would be nice. I like the colors. I think it came out nice. It's a nice the repaint. The purple is new to this color scheme because we've seen Nemesis Primes before that are black and silver and teal. Like that's something Scourge originated 20 years ago and then Nemesis Prime ever since. The purple is a new addition and it is most welcome. It looks really cool, especially in yeah. gorilla mode like Anna's showing right now. Yep. Yeah, it's a really fun accent color to have that purple chest. He's got these red swords because he just stabbed somebody and they're covered in blood. Oh, he's stabbing humans. Or mammals. Oh, yeah. Or just the other animals. Yeah. It is something we saw on Universe Nemesis Prime, which was redecoed from the big convoy mold. He had bloody tusks, which was very violent. But yeah, I mean, yeah. overall, this is a really good figure. Like, it's a good, good mold as it is. Um, the only thing I wish just in general is is that we got some more, like, crazy colors, you know? Um, what, like universe? Right. Or, or you know, red or orange or just whatever. Cybertron but. colors? This is perfect to me. I like this version. <laughs> I don't no, care about I, any of I like it too. Schemes, I just, so this is I, cool. And, I don't know. I probably shouldn't complain anyway. We've gotten like seven Siege Megatrons. So, I mean, they could just repaint this like a thousand times. So, Please my complaints, do. I my, my complaints they'll probably will just repaint it again That's, and again and again. And, don't repaint it like the Netflix release of this mold. Like, what was the point of right. that? There was no, no point to right. that. Don't do repaints like that. We don't like that. Right. That That's what I'm saying is, is that was the only one that was kind of a bummer. That it's like, why did they? I, I don't understand. We like this. Yeah, this yeah, is. Yeah, I. I don't think personally, since I didn't review this originally, I don't think personally I would buy another version of this mold. It just like it's it's okay, but I mean, primals are always in that like uncanny valley of good. Because they're always, like, they're good robots just because they transform into a gorilla. They're decent gorillas because they transform into another bipedal primate type thing, being a robot. Yeah. And I think but the way they're you have never your, perfect. I think the way, you, the way you have your gorilla posed right now really highlights the one thing I don't like about it. And it's got that big piece of flesh kibble to cover his pelvis, yeah. I guess. It's, it goes away if he's in, like, the gorilla walking on his fists thing. You don't see it as much. But when it's upright like you have it, it's very clear. Yeah, and the, the legs, honestly, like, there's no way to get these legs to really look good. Um, they're hidden for me. I have them outstretched all the way where they look their absolute worst. Um, you can kind of layer the knee in front of the upper leg, but then the side display isn't great. Um, the only way to really make the legs look right is, again, in the gorilla on all four stands, which, again, you know, is that really how primal is most of the time? It works. It works. But then again, you have to think, like, how many of the other animal characters actually move in animal modes, you know? Right. Like, you get your Cheetor, and he's pretty much stationary. You get your Rhydox, yeah. he's pretty much stationary. So 
if you think of Primal as being pretty much a stationary gorilla toy, it's better. So I realized that we probably, we should not compare these to the Masterpiece, but like the Masterpiece Primal compared to this, Anna, for you, like, do you, do you think the masterpiece is just like a thousand times better or it's, it's not a thousand times better because all primals fall into the same problems and the masterpiece does too. It yeah. still has a little awkward gorilla-ness. I think that it definitely pulls up robot mode better because this robot mode has kind of weird proportions, has like really long arms, which I mean, primal yeah. always has long arms because he's a gorilla robot, but this one's arms are just extra kind of odd looking long but yeah. I, I think the masterpiece is definitely a better experience overall even if you um you know correct for price right. but you know if primal means that much to you then yeah own a masterpiece of him if he's a less meaningful character of you and you still want a good one this is a good solid yeah. mold it's just you know it takes a hell of a mold for me to want to own a bunch of it right like i really right. have to like the mold and this one is, this one's good enough that I'm super happy to own this one. I'm going to keep it. I like it. I think it's pretty as heck. It's just, you know, not super thrilling or anything. It's fun. Yeah, it's I mean, that's enough. the thing is, is like all the Optimus Primals like do, do the pretty much the same thing. Yeah. And so that's like, I feel like it's a super solid figure. Like it has all the articulation that you'd want. It has the Anna wrist swivel. That you like. I mean, the hands open and close, um, you know, all that type of thing. Um, so, you know, from that standpoint is, you know, it's it's really good. But, yeah, it's like one of those things where it's kind of like it is what it is. Like, you know what you're getting with a primal. He's got a butt cape. There you go. I mean, he's got, got a robot butt, so. That's true. That's true. He does have closer to a sculpted butt than most toys do with that little piece of fur perfect <laughs> no he's fine i really do like the red swords the red swords are really yeah. fun <laughs> and the red eyes yes kicked in blood of his enemies maybe his friends maybe he's that evil because we know nothing evil. about him in it's fact, true. we honestly don't even know he's evil. He could just be, he could be the nemesis of evil. There you go. Well, he does have a Predacon symbol. That's not a good sign. He could be a good Predacon. Maybe he's a revenant. Maybe he's undead. He's the nemesis mm. of those who slayed him in life. Maybe. <laughs> we don't know. Could so be. if you like having a purple monkey guy who has no plot and you have to make up your own, he's great. Yeah. He has some fantastic teal. Maybe he'll yes, show up the in these wonderful Shattered Glass comics. When's the next one coming out, Anna, for you to review? You know, I don't know. Maybe it came out yesterday. <laughs> I lost track of time. Good. Probably next week, then. Why would he show up in Shattered Glass? That's not Shattered Glass Optimus Primal Colors. I, I don't know. What if it's the new Shattered Glass Optimus Primal Colors, Christian? I will scream. But what I do that on the show anyway. That's why what if he's Purple Glass? <sighs> anyway, I guess we go on to Pretty Black Arachnia. Hey, mine is different than yours. Oh yeah, you changed the legs out. I did change the legs out. How topical. <laughs> it makes the other one show accurate, and this one look more stealthy like a crazy ninja. Sure. I don't know. I'm doing the best I can here. So this is a fun thing, right? Because just like just like Nemesis Primal, this version of Black Rackney doesn't exactly have a plot or anything or anything. She's package art from 96. She's freaking package art. She's package art that is improved because she has her kitty cat print bra now, which is fantastic. Yeah, she does. Why? Why does a spider need that? Who knows? She's got it, though. Because she went through a bad fashion phase. Oh, it was the 90s. If she was an adult in the 90s, that means she was a teenager probably in the 80s. Oof. You know what that means for her fashion sense? She went through some phases. This is awkward oh, teenager, Black Arachnia. 
So it does I, have a nice paint wash on it. I actually, it most does. of the time I this don't like the spa space mud kind of stuff, but um, I do actually like this effect um, where there's, I don't know, it's hard to it's, show it's like on a camera, blue wash but it's like, kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like a, it. it's cool. Yeah. It's, it's very Beast Wars. Like that kind of crap was on a bunch of Beast Wars toys, especially you know, a lot of the Transmetal figures kind of had that effect with the colors they had. So I really like that it feels like an homage to where she comes from. And it, it doesn't look like space mud because it's applied consistently. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's the color not of just her people. splattered on there for nonsense reasons. It actually looks nice. It yeah. does. She's got a new head. She's got her toy head. It's pretty cool. Faceplate, all that. Ron said that this black cracking has a bonbon addiction. Uh, I'm assuming that's a Peggy Bundy uh, reference. I have a feeling that is a Peggy Bundy reference. Oh, I do not know who that is. Oh, Chris. Wow. Way, way so youthful. You've, you've figured out our difference now. No married yeah. with children in town. Nope. Doesn't ring yeah. a bell at all. Al Bundy? No. That sounds vaguely familiar. And the show name sounds familiar. Touchdowns in one game, Polkai. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Right. Well, basically, this is a version of Black Arachnia with a fun monster head and a really garish paint scheme. It's very enjoyable. I do recommend doing this leg swap. It makes the other one look so much better. I think this one, <laughs> the black the legs blend into the... Yeah, chance. I can go grab it. I recommend not them. having the other one and just having this one. That's what I did. Yeah. I don't know. I like the other one too, but I don't have the masterpiece, so it was yeah. nice. And this is a lot more fun to transform than the masterpiece. So It is. Well, so I hear. I actually haven't transformed mine yet. Man. You know, what's funny is I didn't really play with anything from the World's Clyde set when I got it. I was just like, I was busy and I kind of set it aside and I've been kind of going through it today. To actually play with it. The only one I actually played with consistently was the Bumblebee. I just put it on my desk and I play with this mold a lot because it's easy to play with. There we oh, go. There go. Which is, this is show accurate and it looks great. Good. You can see them together. I want to point out that my camera won't pick it up, but her head, you know, being a monster robot head, even has really thick eye makeup, which makes her even more garish 80s black arachnia. Love it. She's yeah. so, her fashion sense is so terrible. It is fantastic. I didn't really notice or hate that the previous <laughs> version had the wrong color legs for show accuracy. But once I changed it, I was like, oh. This is definitely better. This is what everyone needs to do. So do this. Do this. All right, fine, Christian. Do it now. I can make sense. It's not that hard to do either. It's just pegs. Yeah, yeah you just take the pegs off. Yeah. And then reinstall them. About a five-minute mod. It, it Yeah, it makes a lot of difference. And like I said, I like the way the black legs blend into the black pieces of the new version's body. I think it's more color coordinating that way. Yeah. She's spookier. And the, uh, and the other figure too, it kind of breaks up the black a little more. It does. It really does. That makes sense. She has more of a presence now. And she should, because she's great. So yeah, like I said, I haven't really, I haven't transformed this one yet, but I really do like, I like what I have so far, as far as the robot mode. I'm pretty happy with we, it. I think we reviewed the spider mode earlier with the yeah, first you all did. It's not great. It's better than the it's MP. Fine. It's because you yeah, can it, get it to it. Because you can do it, yes. Yeah, it's it's a little it's a little tick like too, isn't it? Yes. Okay. As black arachnids tend to be these days, a little tech like. Yeah, something had to give, and it was the beast mode. But that's but it's okay. It, it accomplishes the thing. It learned all of the mistakes from uh, Masterpiece. And it did became not make so again. much simpler and mostly pulls off the same idea. Yes. 
So, yeah, I mostly agree with what the guy said um, on our show when we originally did Black Arachnia, that if you if you haven't splurged for the MP yet, you'll probably be pretty much just as happy if you just own the um, the regular color version of Black Arachnia here. Yep. Probably be good enough for you. The only, like, slight complaint I have is that mine has a really loose neck joint. Like, it, it, she sometimes gets sad and just looks down all day. But that's not a big deal. It could be fixed, I'm sure. I don't know if anything else is loose once I turn her into a, I almost said cat, but it's spider. Spider. Because I think she turns into a cat because of her kitty cat Brett. does not make any sense but it's beautiful and homage is a thing so uh yeah she's cool yeah i take it as a light-hearted figure and i really like when things are silly so it's fun yep so fangry um so the the biggest issue i think that everyone has with the oh. I think the biggest issue that everyone has with this is the legs. What I just did. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. I haven't tried to, like, touch it up with, like, any future or anything like that to tighten it up. Me either. I probably should. But it's on a pin that's a little bit more difficult, but I don't give it a shot. Yeah, I'm sure you could probably throw some in there and it'll might help at least. So, But, it's but who thought headmaster. in 2021, right? Uh, who thought that would come back? crazy no one this is the one that no one could have predicted but we're so glad he's here mm -hmm. and it is the same little headmaster guys um this one's well painted though a little paint yes. on the head i think this is a very big remold of double cross which became grotesque mm -hmm. I believe yeah, I think so. This. Maybe more believable Please. that they just started with Kurtusk at this point. Yeah. I've it seen some side by sides that are very wings. similar. I haven't seen my Grotusk in a while. I think it might be different wings. I don't remember. Mine's way over remember. there. It's too long of a walk. Yeah. So he's cool. I mean, this is the reason a lot of people wanted to get this whole set. Right. And uh, he's. it's good that he is here. I hope that means his Headmaster Junior compatriots are on the way. Oh, me too. I really hope his Headmaster Junior friends are coming. His readout here is very cool. I kind of wish it was able to be hidden, but it's cool that it's there because he's the only one of the Headmasters to feature it. Well, yeah, that's what I was uh, going to say. Like, I really think it's neat that they did that just because none of the other Headmasters actually have that. Yep. Or, you know, the nurses. Uh, he desperately needs a weapon and he does not come with one he does not come with yeah. one that is a, a that's a big detriment for me not enough to be like don't get this ever because right. how often do we get finger figures the answer is three times ever and one of them was a titan master so yeah get, just maybe find someone else's gun to use with him because he he needs something and if you're a transformers collector you probably have extra accessories that he could hold someone else's Probably. Yeah, but he's Anna's got fine. The, the beast mode. Look at his cool wolfy head. It's awesome. Yeah, I might leave him like yeah. this because this gets rid of the, the dingy rattly legs. And that's really my big problem with it is those legs are terrible. They are very, very wobbly. Like more wobbly than I even after hearing other people talk about how wobbly his legs were, I was not prepared for the wobble. He is wobble tastic. Oh really? Mine's real bad, yeah. Well, yeah, no. I mean, they're all pretty rough, I feel like. Probably. And one of his arms on backwards. But yeah, he he's so goofy. Like, it's just a goofy toy. But he's supposed to be, right? Like, he's supposed to be a goofy, weeded wolf thing that punches you in the face. He's fine. Again, I feel like he's lighthearted. I feel like Fingry in general is a lighthearted design because it's just so silly. Can yours look forward directly? <clears throat> a 
mine has an issue where the Titan Master does not fold up exactly right. So the little peg hits the back and, and can't look straight forward because of it, unless I want to look down. I'm about to find out. But you see, it's not exactly parallel, slightly angled out. So this little peg right there hits the, uh, the back piece. Mine can look straight forward. Cool. Yeah, I don't just think mine was having any issues. Just me. I think it's, it's probably fine. just a little bit of extra paint in the mechanism. Probably. Mine's oh, probably right. never going to see bot mode again. Ra Randall says his wasn't too bad. So I guess there are some ones that, you know, aren't too bad with their... Yeah, that's good. I'm glad that some of them aren't as wobbly. Like, mine is just so bad. And I I honestly really cared until I got him into wolf mode. And then I said, you know what? This is worth just leaving him in. So I'm good. Yep. I'm happy with him being a goofy punch wolf. He feels like he should be like a crappy, like, um, you know, those shows they have at like theme parks on Halloween. Like, I grew up near Six Flags. They always have those goofy Halloween shows. He feels like he should be one of the monsters in it. He's just so cheesy looking. Ooh, he can hang out with Dracula when Dracula comes out. Yeah. Oh, there you go. You can have your own Halloween shelf of Transformers. Yeah, they get Monster Person Poker Nights. It'll be great. <laughs> I do hope we do get uh, squeeze play and horrible. I'd be okay if they came from various versions of this mold. That's fine. They seem to want to retool this one a bunch to make other stuff. So yay, bring them on. Squeeze I'd play be feels happy like you as can long come as they weren't so wobbly. Question: Where do I want to stick the head at for this? In when he's truck? in monster mode. Yeah. You could... He has a cockpit in the chest. Yeah, he can go uh, in the chest. Mm. He's intended to stand on the back. That is one complaint. There are pegs for his footies on the back. They do not fit. They don't? On mine, they don't. Yours might fit. Uh, probably with the paint, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't, I don't, mine aren't going in. Which was a little bit, because I was like, ooh, he can stand on it. Yeah. Then it's like cheesy anime mode. But now he can't stand on it. It's a rat wolf, according to Phil. Okay. So, does this, like, does this little chest part, does it actually come open? Yeah. I haven't played with it, sorry. Yeah, the uh, readout flips up, and then the cockpit piece uh, flips down. Oh, okay. The question, though, is, is this going to be a part that breaks? Like, I feel like... Um, yeah, what what was it? Uh, Weird Wolf was that the one that broke? Yeah. Oh yeah. But the I new Weird Wolf it. doesn't break as much, and then the other ones didn't have that issue. Yeah. I'm just wondering since this is like a clear piece of plastic, you had to kind of force it up. It's like a little bit awesome. tricky to get up. Fun fact: my original Weird Wolf never broke. Yeah, mine hasn't either, but I. <laughs> I feel like if I had, like, Anna, where she transforms things, like, 20 times, I would have broken it, but I, mine has been fine. I never broke mine, but I also didn't, like, um, so I didn't play with them as much. And excite me. Nothing from that line really excited me. So, you know, it's nice that somehow they have managed to take one of the figures from that line and work it into interesting things. Like, I genuinely do like this figure and Grotusk and Repugnus, um, even though they all came from stupid little double-headed drag dragon guy who was a disappointment. I loved him as a kid, but the new version, I just didn't like him. I didn't. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry, I just Chris, didn't. Are you okay? I'm offended by that statement. Double Cross is great. Uh, I don't like him, but it's okay. Know, I, mean, I, it's I okay. actually, I really love that. Like, like that whole line, the Headmaster line, and all that. Like, was one of my favorite things. I mean, I, I really enjoyed that whole. 
back in the day. I mean, now at this point it's showing its age, but you know, I I really enjoyed it at the time. So. I do like what they've been doing with the Walmart line, though, reissuing those with the Takara heads and the updated color schemes. Those look really nice to me. Yeah, that's good. If they wanted really to like re-release Fangry here that way, maybe next year or two years, that'd be cool. Or if that's how we get, you know, the different color Fortress ba- or for, uh, Cerebro's head or squeeze play and horrible come out that way whatever i think that's what's really interesting about those figures is like i don't really feel like that they shelf for them all that much like you don't you none of them were on clearance and i don't know if walmart just did a smaller order or what but i ended up getting half of them You know why I didn't like Double Cross? Because the original Double Cross could shoot sparks out his chest, so that was amazing. <laughs> and this one cannot. So therefore, just don't enjoy him as much. Even though I still like the Repugnus, even though the original Repugnus could shoot sparks out his mouth, which was extra amazing. Grotesque did, too. Probably. Mine is not in very good condition. My G1 version, he doesn't do anything. <laughs> That was what the monster boss did. Yes, they all did it. And now they don't. Because we have safety standards and toys. Right. But Retro yeah. Headmasters keep doing it. Or if they want to come out and put Squeeze Play in another four pack next year and Horrible in a four pack after that. <laughs> wonderful. Whatever. I don't care. This is yeah. what it takes. I will do it. What I'll say about him is I haven't heard any of the people who wanted this set just for Fingry. I haven't heard anybody who's really upset at how good Fingry right. is. Like, I haven't heard anybody being like, oh, man, I wanted this set just for Fingry, and I got him, and he's poop. Um, I haven't heard that from anybody, so he must be good enough for the people who really want Fingry. I, I think that that's really... You know, if you if you get that, but otherwise, like he's painted really nice, like he looks good. Um, you know, I don't know, I enjoy it. It's funny, like when this set was originally announced and whatnot, I was like, oh, like what is this? Um, but I've really enjoyed all of these figures. Like I think that they, I think part of it is is just that uh, they're all painted pretty well, um, and so that that definitely helps. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's- it's a good value too if you can get it for retail price because it's eighty dollars when it should be closer to a you know, hundred, mm-hmm. right? Because yeah. primal yeah, is thirty dollars and, and the deluxes are twenty three, twenty two now. Yeah, yeah. So it's like ninety eight dollars. So yeah, it's it's a good deal. Yeah, it's a good enough value, and it, it none of them are bad. You know, there isn't yeah, no, a bad figure a in the box. Them. Yeah. Oh, and it came with the AllSpark. I didn't pull mine out. Oh, yeah. The D20 version of the AllSpark. Yeah, which is just somewhere. Whatever. Yeah, it's a little tiny D20 version of the AllSpark. Much smaller than a regulation D20. I think it's the same one that came with the D20. Yes, it is. It's the same one. one. Yay. It's... Hey, it yeah, came with it. That's cool. I have a regular D20. I think I can hold it. He has 20 times the power of other robots. Perfect. Yeah, other other than the missing weapon for Fangory and the legs, um, there isn't anything that I would change about this set. I think it's really good. They did it really well. Like Lucas said, they're all well painted. Yep. Um, if you can find it, go buy it. Yep, I would agree. I think, I think it'll keep getting enough, me stuck for a while. I, I, I feel like that there's enough of a resale value that, like, if you're like, oh, I had to have it for one of the figures in the set, like, I, I think you could probably resell the other ones in the set, like, pretty easily and, and you know, make your money back, so. Yeah, I thought that Bumblebee was going to be hard to sell, but watching people sell the set, I haven't seen people really struggling to get rid of the Bumblebee either. I bought, an ex- this is my extra Bumblebee. Because I already painted my other one. I, I made Cliff Trimper yellow Bobby and Bumblebee red Bobby. Perfect. 
I, I didn't name to... him that. That's what the masterpiece Red Bumblebee called him. Bumblebee okay. Red Bobby. So they didn't call that for Cliff Jumper because that doesn't exist yet, but I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. Um, so I do want to mention uh, book club this week is going to be R.I.D. 46 and Redemption. So uh, check that out on Sunday night at 930 Eastern, 830 Central on the TF Talk Discord. You are able to discern what happens in Redemption. Do let me know. I've read it. <laughs> I cannot see any of the action. Perfect. Sounds great. And I do agree with Randall that we need a bumper head for the bee. We do. Yeah, that's what nice. I'm hoping this will be with some known F shapeway, not shapeways, known F or Major's Workshop or Shockwave Lab or somebody make an upgrade kit to put a bumper head on this bee. Because I need this head for something else. There you go. Yeah, I'm really hoping to turn mine into a glyph, but we'll see. Let's see if I get around to it. I'm hoping it works as a summoning ritual, where as soon as I customize it, they'll actually release Glyph. That's what I'm hoping Hope so for. Too. There you go. So. Yeah, I would continue buying that mold. I call the mini bots. Whatever. All right, well, thanks, guys. Thanks to everyone in the chat. Uh, thanks to Randall, Catherine, Phil, uh, Ron. That's it. So, but yeah. Thanks, everyone, and we will see you next week.